Hello, uh, today I'm going to show you how to replace this ceramic quarter turn cartridge in this swan neck uh, tap. Uh, the first thing to do, as you see, it is dripping. It's not dripping a lot, but it is dripping, so it's getting quite annoying. So I'm going to uh, have a look down here. Underneath the sink, torch on, so I'll show you. And there's a flexi pipes coming down, and we've got some convenient valves underneath here. Um, so all I've got to do is just turn them off. So they're currently uh, vertical. So if I just turn those round, that's with a flathead screwdriver, um, like so. So, plumbing's always a bit awkward because the pipes are always out of the way underneath cupboards and whatever. So that's done. Turn it off. So the water's off. Um, it should stop dripping in a minute. So. Um, so uh, hopefully uh, I'll be able to demonstrate uh, how to take these cartridges off. It's very simple and save you a bit of money. So we'll carry on. OK, so um, now to take the tap, the tap valves off. We've got two new ones here. Let me see what they look like. Uh, don't need the screws on top on this type. Uh, but there's the valve. There's a color coded so one's hot and one's blue uh, cold so that's blue and uh, these uh, levers here you need a an allen key just a small allen key so if you've got a set of those so we uh, have to just undo those underneath and the same there just unscrew those and then we can just pull those off like so and then we have the cartridge underneath. So just need a simple uh, spanner. This is an adjustable spanner. So if I undo that, like so. There's going to be a bit of water in there, but don't worry about that. Drain away. So that's the old one. Um, don't know why it's leaking and dripping, but we get rid of that one. There's the new one. So I'll uh, screw that one in. Like so, nice and easy. Make sure you don't cross thread it. And there we go, that's that one. I'll finish screwing that up in a minute. Let's take the other one off. Like so. Well, that's the second one. That's the hot one. So, uh, take that one off and put the new one in, which is red. Let's slide that one in, make sure there's no, no scale in there. And just, just do it with your fingers. Try not to, don't cross thread it. So just do it gently. Right, you shouldn't have to force it. If you're forcing it, you're going to cross thread it. So we just tighten those up. Like so. Okay, so that's right. I'm just giving you a quick demonstration here. But um, what we'll do is need to make sure that they're in the off position. And then that's on, that's off, that's on, that's off. So that's all good. And then we go in and turn that back on. So I'll leave the camera showing the tap. And I'll just go down and put that water back on. So there's one, there's two. Okay, let's try 
the next step. So the water is now back on. So let's give it a test. There we go. Water's all back on. And that's the hot water. All working nicely there. And obviously uh, with your Allen key, tighten them back up underneath like so. Uh, and away you go. So I hope that's made the job look very easy for you. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.